ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a best of nine. This is the first game. Every match is individualized one map at a time. Amadre, thank you for the thousand bits. Your bits don't have a way to go directly to them, but we can work that out. I'll, I'll convert the value after the cast is done, and we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. But yeah, bits do. I'll just be very clear about this. Bits don't go directly to it. But if you guys donate bits today, I'll take the value and donate it personally after the stream. So if you guys donate, say, like, 100 bucks worth of bits, I'll make sure that bunny finds its way to the World Vision people. Goodbye, but, base. Ladies and gentlemen, it's game one in this best so of nine show match series. You guys get to do your intros before. I'm going to do them this time. We'll trade out Absolutely. to the bottom right. I said it before. I'll say it again. If it ain't Dutch, it ain't much. It's Harstom. <laughs> Captain coming out to represent his team in the first match of the official series. The top left, he is the invader, the Korean, coming all the way to Europe to steal this money. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Solar. The invader, even. The invader. <laughs> wow. Is that the actual nickname? No. Okay, no. I was going to say. No, but that's what we're going to call him. Because he's, he's come all the, the way here. He's, he's gone as far away from home as possible. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I'm the foreigner now. <laughs> oh my goodness it's gonna be a long day it is, it is gonna be a long it is gonna be a long day but it's gonna I'm, be a I'm great excited. day though this is gonna be spectacular i'm liking these teams i'm hearing um, money i'm hearing lots of money you're hearing I'm, lots I'm hearing of, of money. yeah let's go yeah people being really generous let's get this capped up uh, alaska winter five dollars says good cause hell yeah dude for the kids Again, if you guys want to learn more about World Vision, exclamation mark World Vision, or exclamation mark for the kids, we'll both link you to the website. Uh, Skodix, I'm sorry, I'm saying that name wrong. 250 bits comes in to say, I've, all I've got is bits. So now that they're kind of counting, here's some. Hell yeah, dude. And then Juvia Locks are $20. This lady just won a show match last night in the after show, actually. $20 coming in saying happy birthday. I mean, charity. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Let's crack, go. crack Furtado. Great name, by the way. No message. $20 coming in as well. Thank you. Uh, that thank brings you, us up to you. Uh, $409. 400. Nice. Very nice. Let's go. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This is looking an awful lot like the game we just watched. <laughs> yeah, well, for Harstom, I guess we should, to, for those who aren't familiar with Harstom, he's one of the best Protoss in Europe. We love watching him play, but he does have very standard sets of play styles. There are some Protoss, like Goblin, who are playing on the other team today. He's a little bit more aggressive. He could be a little bit more all-in. Harsom's more of a backy. very straight-laced guy. All right. Oh all right. Goodness, guys. It's endless money coming in, by the way. It is, but it's all for the kids, so fuck yeah, dude. Haru, I mean, SOS, <laughs> thank you for the $10. <laughs> Gush, your support our cost. No, I'm not reading that. I hate you so much. Uh... Uh... <laughs> If we if we kept that going at like ten dollars with the sound that you've got going on, we're just gonna be constantly in, in like an EDM nightclub for the rest of the day, dude. <laughs> right? Uh, Raro Osu also throws in ten dollars. But let me ask you this, like TV crew, what are your thoughts on on Gushers fruit snacks? Delicious. Hard pass. What? Hard. Thank pass. you, Adam. What? The what? real question is Dunkaroos. Yes or yes. Well, they're they're fire too. The icing, at least. Sour Patch Kids is goat, though. There you go. Okay, now you're talking. Oh, see, Gushers, Gushers his... was like you felt like you were eating something from another planet, and none of it was good. I opened mm. up a pack of Gushers, and it's supposed to be a variety pack, all the colors. I opened it live on stream, or I opened three of them off stream, and they're all red, no variety at all. So I was ready to do this on stream and get upset, and I opened a pack live on stream while I'm ranting about this, and of course that's the pack that has all the fucking colors in it. So uh, Gushers just did me dirty twice back to back, and I'm very uh, upset about Gushers for snacks. The best thing about Gushers is when you're opening it up the package and you're you're eating the Gushers one at a time. Sometimes there's there's a like a gusher on steroids where it's like two gushers formed into one gusher, and then you get the extra gush, and it's delicious. Which really what is is what every <laughs> one of those not gushers should by be. The way, guys. And why it should you know why they're tra partly trash is because every one of them should have been on the juice. Mm. But they aren't. Most of them, you bite into them, and they're like having like that stingy Tim Hortons, you know, like Boston cream donut. You bite in, and there's no filling. <laughs> just like this tiny little bit feeling. in the back end of the donut, and you just feel like you've been robbed. That's like almost every single gush. Lemon Lay Miz is filling up that donation goal. Let's go. Yeah, fifty dollars. Big holler says for the kids again. Let's go, man. Let's go. Well. Now that the boring stuff is pretty much done here in the game, and the game is actually starting to uh, to pick up, uh, very, very similar to last game. You know, just going for a fast third, 
going to go ahead and do the exact same build. He's getting that Warp Prism mm -hmm. out with a couple of Archons. Last game, though, he lost that Warp Prism on his second yeah. volley trying to get in when those uh, fast Hydras came out. Even though he lost such a critical war prism, though, he still ended up winning the game. So I yep. think this is that logic of if it's not broken, don't fix it. Yep. Well, like we were also saying last game is that there isn't a heck of a lot of downside to this kind of pressure play uh, with the Archons. Is that like you always seem to get some semblance of value out of it. And then even if you do, you know, manage to not make too much happen, it's still just enough to get you into that third and to, you know, have you ready for any kind of a counter at this point in the game. Now, of course, uh, guys, with lots of donations coming in as the action picks up, we'll uh, probably end up doing more summary donation shoutouts instead of super on the fly all the time. So just big love to all those who threw a couple bucks in. But this is really important because what's going on for Hearthstone right now, uh, we talked about this with the first of Bly. Bly had Hydras. He had things that shoot it up. He had things that could push this away yeah. and then get aggressive. With Hearthstone, this Warp Prism still standing. So Solar's yeah. opted to instead go for a Spire. This will give him air units that can chase off this Warp Prism and deal with this a lot more efficiently than these Roaches can. Now, the fact that he is getting a Spire, and I haven't seen things kind of play out like what's about to play out, but now that there's two Archons, he's going to need a fairly significant amount of Muta, probably at least, you know, eight plus well, to really chase that off, right? That's part of the equation, but while the Archon's going to wreck Mutas in most fights, again, it's what's yeah. stopping the Warp Prism, right? Even if those Mutas, like, have to dance around this all day, kill the Warp Prism and you kill the push. And then, yeah. then once that's completed, you just fly across the map and enjoy probes for breakfast. Hey, it's the best best way to enjoy probes. <laughs> I was going to go, I was gonna I go with the best part of waking lightly. up with probes in your cup, but you know that's <laughs> that's fine too. <laughs> Canada Unbelievable. really shining through today, man. It's really shining through. Just it's, nailing it. We're all Canadian, so you know it's. Uh, I mean, who doesn't remember that that commercial? Like, I can see it in my head, like the OG one, where like that you could barely see the kitchen and the dude sitting in there, and it's like the country music singer comes on. You're the best part of waking up is <laughs> folders you know, in my, your girl. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite variation was that one where uh, the, the the daughters welcome or the sisters welcome your brother home from like the army or something, and it's the Folgers commercial, but someone edits it so it looks like super. <laughs> Incesty, and you're like, oh no. Yeah, that was a bit of a swing and a miss. But you know, you can't get them all right all the time. Big push coming okay. up here in the middle. Mm -hmm. This is. Uh, but the war this... prism's left unguarded. <laughs> uh -oh. And with this war prism going down. Oh, wait, it's not going to go down. He's diving for it. Oh, he got it. He Over got top it. Of the this is so dangerous, but he gets it. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah he, he gets got it. it. Didn't even lose a Muta, I don't think either. Might have lost like one. Yeah. 179 supply to 144. He's forced to back, uh, go back home. And uh, he's only got one Phoenix out right now. He's got that shield battery. But at this point, he can start, like, one volleying all of these probes and go in and yeah. go out. Uh, and he's going to lose a lot of probes here. Or maybe Idiot three. Is. Yeah, he decided to focus on the Phoenix there, which, is, of course, is getting backed up by that shield battery. I think he probably just should have stuck to killing the probes and then just got out and saved himself uh, a well, little bit of time and did some more damage. I think the key thing was keeping these minions alive, right? It's yeah. not round one or round two. It's round three that really gets you at the end. And for Solar, the greatest thing about his army over Harsom is it's very mobile. It's very quick, uh, whether it's the mutants, whether it's the roaches, but it's the Harsom's forces, which have taken so long just to even come home. Like, it's mm. not the slowest army, but it's not nearly as mobile. And, oh, he misses his opportunity to shut down his fourth. Or maybe he'll still get it. Yeah, it I don't looks know, like he's going to be able to pick that off. Oh, oh, oh no it's a cancel, kill, not a too. cancel. Wow. No cancel. That's okay. huge. Oh. Meanwhile, huge stasis trap caught a lot of that front line for Solar up to this northern fight. So Solar having his own wall of units body blocking him oh, out of the fight. Force Ghost come in to pair up with that. And there's no escape for some of these units. Ooh, huge storms, massive force fields. Couldn't pick them any better there. The mixtapes are firing down, breaking down those force fields. And the Zealots Archons are going to start pushing oh. forward. And he's going to get a few more units there. And he's going to be forced oh. to back off. Meanwhile... Uh, I do believe all of the mutas, uh, let yes. me see here, all the mutas Every gone single as well. one. Yeah, that's big. That's huge. This is huge. I mean, let's let's take away from the charity event for just one second, guys, and you really break this down. It's Hearthstone, one of the top players in Europe against the Korean. This is always a tough matchup. The fact that he just held that so well on two sides is yeah. so damn impressive. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, very impressive. He's going to lose this uh, this fourth again. Hopefully he gets a cancel off this time. Uh, and he does. He cancels immediately because he knew if those mixtapes hit down on that, it was gone. Uh, he's going to immediately put it <laughs> back down. And I uh, got a couple of Phoenix there uh, going to pick off a couple of those Ravagers. 
And not only that, the Phoenix uh, kind of got free reign oh. to get scouting information oh. all the way as well. Jeff, I got a question for you. If you could describe those force fields, what what would you use? What adjective would you use? Absolutely beautiful. There you go. <laughs> You can find the exact same words for those storms. Pair it up with it. We go old school on this one. But, uh, this is, for Harstam, so important to get this fourth base up. This isn't a composition where he wants to sit on three bases. He'll eventually mine out of this main soon. This is a big base to get up and running. The fact that Solar was putting pressure just kind of, like, validates the fact that Harstam needed this base so badly. So he finally pushes us off. He finally takes the base. Ooh, but my fear is, look Phoenix. at the... Got Look him. at the amount of units on the field right now. Harsom's got Massive. really powerful units, but he doesn't have nearly as many as Solar does. But they fly oh! over Archons! Oh, a couple of storms too! Uh! Oh, the units! They're so damn expensive, you can't lose them like this! Wow. And oh, he's going go back, back in, in for more? He's going back in for more. Oh, ultimate bravery. Wow. All right. Oh, well. Stasis Trap, meanwhile, with the cannons, holds to the third base. Just buy some time to respond with the army. Small attack to the main with some very weak meters will be cleaned up by the stalkers. But this big force of Ling's all yeah. stuck in stasis. They cannot fight. Yeah, and uh, meanwhile, we're back down at the fourth. The Phoenix are going to be able to pick off a couple more Mutas. The Mutas are getting pretty brazen right now, sitting around at that fourth base. Putting down another stasis there. He's going to bang that off right away and uh trying to pick it off but man it just doesn't get it he really keeping that uh that oracle man i love this play of just having one oracle out pretty much the whole game keeping it alive you know you don't use it very often oh my god dude that stasis is massive he almost could just engage here and just surround, surround them right just he could surround them and yeah. then when they wake up it's a bad time yeah, well he's gonna cook them up with some storms if he had the energy for it he's about two seconds shy so he'll have that by the time the stasis wears off this has been for Harstam, some top-notch stasis play, though. Honestly, yeah, a lot of Zerg players are aware of this. So the fact that he's pulling all this off is more impressive. But still pressure to the top side from Solar coming in for another attack. Deny some warp in, so some reinforcements shut down. But these Archons being referred to as Chad Archons of the chat, earning their name for sure in this game. Yeah, in his main base right now, we've got a bunch of Mutas taking out every Stalker that just got warped in. And not only that, Ooh. every probe down in this main is going to go out. Uh, only one oh! Phoenix alive inside the base. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, there's a big counterattack happening. Two of the Archons out in front. He's going to lose two Archons for nothing here. Uh, and he's going to get big storms, huge storms going down. There might be enough Archons here to get the rest of it. He's going to back off. And meanwhile, still back in the base. Tons of Muta doing tons of damage. Yeah, what, one really key thing that happened through all this is Harsom tried to get that War Prism in the main, and we saw versus Bly, he was hitting like three locations at the same time. He wasn't able to execute that multi-pronged attack this game. Immortals to the South denied. War Prism in the main picked off, made warp in, and as we watched, those Archons and Storms were stalled out in the middle of the map. Mm -hmm. Harsom mm -hmm. not getting the damage done he wanted to do this game. Oh, yo, 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 yo. So much action going on in so many different places. It makes me feel so incompetent in StarCraft 2. <laughs> I, I know, you're right. Over why, why do I have We're used to, like, one thing happening at a time at any point in time, right? <laughs> it's, it's almost uh, a mind-boggling situation to know that somebody could possibly do more than one thing at any given time. <laughs> Uh, but these guys are obviously going going big, going hard on it. It was nice to see Harstam actually get out uh, of his base there to be able to do some sort of counterattack, even though it didn't do a lot. It was enough to maybe just make Solar think twice about how far in he was going with his own units here. But these Muta are just being a headache as they always are. I mean, everyone, anyone who has to put up with Muta just hates them immediately. It's kind of like uh, yeah, it's kind of like Cliff Racers and more. When you run around the map, and there's like five thousand of them running behind you. You can't get rid of them. Yeah, some, the thing uh, is, with these Phoenix in play, he's meant to be hard countering the Mutas too, but you notice they're struggling to do even that. Now yeah. his production's being camped. If Harson wasn't distracted by these other units, he would handle this no problem, but he's constantly yeah. being torn apart. His attention is a resource, and he doesn't have much of it. Yeah, he's literally doing what you wouldn't think a Zerg could do, and that's use Mutas to kill Phoenix. And it is it, yeah. exactly what you're saying. He's in so many places on the map and keeping... Uh, Harstam at bay that he can't just hardcore micro against these mutas and even when he is starting to micro he jukes him he starts to fly away for a half a second and then immediately turns around and there's just not enough time to react fast enough and he's losing one two phoenix at a time and it's going to get to so the point where solar's just going to a move against the phoenix and he's going to lose them all well what was really painful there too painful. as we oh quick pause uh Solar did a great job picking off the pylons that are powering the fleet beacon. 
his Anian Pulse Crystal upgrade, which gives these Phoenix two extra range over the Mutas, mm -hmm. uh, was shut down for so long. That's finally completed, and Harsim can finally have a better time fighting against these Mutalisks. And for those who don't know, I guess the unfamiliar out there, Phoenix are just the only, one of oh, like two units in this game that can move and shoot at the same time. So that having that extra range, it just <laughs> makes them so much more powerful. Good old battle cruisers. Yeah, no, I mean up until this point too, it's just been a numbers game. There's just been so many more muta than uh, than Phoenix, and this is going to be a big attack here. He might actually finally lose his base. Yeah, to the yeah. top. Yeah, this is going to be tough. The Archon's trying to hold on. The ground army's going to have to go respond to this. Luckily. Once he repowers that Forge, plus three will be finishing up, but he, for now, only has plus two weapons to push this back. Thirteen more probes die. Yeah, that's huge, man. I mean, in terms of probes dead, 55 to one. Like, that just paints the Oof. story right there. I mean, listen, yeah. you know, Harstam is on four base. He's doing a very... He's, it's such a valiant effort he is, but he's really just surviving. He isn't... He isn't, uh, you know, getting another base. His economy is taking a beating. He's, his minerals are going lower and lower and lower. The creep spread is spreading. More bases will be going down here, I would imagine, very shortly here for Solar. More upgrades are going as well. And not only that, it's just constant pressure. Uh, I think it's starting to become the beginning of the end here. Maybe. I think one of the things for Solar, though, is he did start investing a lot more into air, which, by the way, is the only thing Harsim really has a hard counter on right now. That mm -hmm. Anya Pulse Crystal upgrade, as you can see here, making it so the Mutas can't even touch the Phoenix in a lot of these small engagements. So as long as he can keep running those Archons left and right and deal with these small run buys, he's going to win the overall war. Solar has invested thousands into these Mutalists, and as you guys can see here, they can't fight back. It's that mm -hmm. kid, you know, the bully's just holding him at arm's length while he swings away and he just can't do anything about it. I, that that well, that is true. I, I just fear at what point will uh, will will Solar go ahead and transition into something like Hydralisk, uh, or how much longer is he going to continue just to go nothing but air? Do you think he's just going to go into Broodlords? I don't think well, you know that's going to happen with so many Phoenix out on uh, on the map either. One of the big things he's doing to kind of double down his air investment is he's got that Carapace upgrade that'll help reduce some of the damage from the Phoenix against the Corruptors, but you're not supposed to fight That's above the Archons. Wage. That's the that number was... one rule, no matter what you're doing. Oof. Don't fight above Oof. the Archons. Oof. Oof. Uh, that's a lot of damage for free, basically, there uh, for Harstom uh, without really any counter to it. And just keeping a constant eye on all these Muta with that one Oracle on the map at any given time, and even getting some use of the stasis Guys. on that one Oracle has just been absolutely huge. And I cannot believe how, how bold Solar is being with this ball of Muta and Corruptors right now. Yeah, this we is. We owe uh, many small shout outs, but we just. Sorry, $100 just came in. We can't ignore damn. that. I'm sorry, guys. Rhoda with the $100 donation for the kids. Oh Thank my you so God. much. We'll read your message after. But the Archon's push in. The Korean is defeated. Harstum takes the first game. Wow. Well, you were right, Jeff. It was the beginning of the end just for the other guy. Caster's curse, bro. Look, hey, hey. <laughs> you bet against your own race and you lost. <sighs> This is something that is really incredible, though, because <laughs> without a doubt, Solar is not the sole heart of that team, but he's definitely one of the best picks that they could have gone for in this. The fact that Harsim just took him out is absolutely fantastic for Team Harsim. Now Bly's team's got a really...